Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Caesar back out here for another video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, liking, or even sharing this to your friends. My name is Caesar. I'm from Chicago. I do sneaker content related videos and fashion relatable videos. And for my returning subscribers, welcome back. It's your boy. Um, today's video is a bit different. Um, I don't have anything to review or kind of give insight. But you know, I thought that we could do like a little vlog, uh, show what I'm up for today, because I'm gonna be out and about, and figure I could take y'all along. So yeah. Also, happy holidays. I know I haven't said that to anyone, but hope you guys had a great holidays and relaxed and chill with your families. And if you don't celebrate, you know, I hope you took that day as a rest day. Yeah, just continue to strive. So I spent my Christmas with my family. Um, we kind of did like a secret Santa. So we exchanged gifts pretty early. I got my brother, my older brother Jesse. Got him. He's a big Manchester United fan, so I got him a poster on Etsy with a frame of Old Trafford, which is the stadium they play in. Just a Panagonia vest. Um, figure it would look good on him, so yeah. My brother's girlfriend actually got me, and she just got me a pair of light bars for my monitor. I'll show you right now. Just the light bars from the back. He kind of like had that adhesives in the back. And you just put them back in the monitor. And they give, they're pretty expensive. I think they go around for like 70. So it was definitely a perfect gift because I was trying to like give more light to my room when I play. If you're watching this, Ashley, thank you. Appreciate it. Love the lights. Thank you so much. If you guys are interested, this is where it's from. I do recommend it. I know. Um, also for Christmas, I decided to gift myself something, just like a little treat. The untimely passing of Virgil Abloh. I felt like I needed to get something. Like it just, I just been looking through his catalog and figured like, oh, might as well buy some sunglasses. I got these square glasses from Saks Fifth. These were about 350. They're pretty nice, kind of tight. So I was wondering if I could like adjust it. My girlfriend, Erica. Christmas, I decided to give her a pair of sneakers. I know it's something she was eyeing on. And you know, the more I've like looked at it, I actually do like these pair of shoes. And thank God they weren't that expensive for resale. Cause these days, resale just goes high. Even for like dunks, it's like $300. But you know, just treated her and she likes them. I'll show you guys. Got the Pata Air Max ones, the Mara colorway. Pretty nice shoe. Um, I know it's not much, but the waves do actually give it more like style, I guess, as you say. But yeah, I fuck with these and I wish they did more colorways because I do like this orange one, but I don't want to copy her. But yeah. I also got myself this Arcteryx Beanie. Believe it or not, this is only like, what, $35? but it was sold out almost everywhere. Luckily I found it at a ski shop in Colorado. Um, I think it was like one of the last few left, but I seen these on Grail and people were selling them for like above $100, which is ridiculous. I do love Arcteryx, but the hype on it is kind of bad. Like people just pick anything, just resell it for the high.
Went to the thrift, I didn't find anything. More concerned about how busy it was, you know, with the whole spike of this new variant. I just try to keep my distance and, I don't know, it was, it was busy for a Sunday, but. I do prefer to come on days where it's less busy, just cause like, I hate when people have carts in the middle of the aisle, you just can't like look at things. So I'll probably go on a different day. She actually got something, what do you get? A pair of Gap jeans. For how much? Four dollars. Nice. 2022, I kind of want to like thrift more just to like save money and budget. When I get a car, and I think the most important thing is to budget. Buying stuff online like new, it could get really expensive. A pair of jeans off like, and even like off Grail, like you're trying to look for a pair of Levi's, my sizing probably like 80 bucks which is really annoying they try and get their profits yeah so i have to put more effort into thrifting go more consistently just so i could find stuff can't expect to find stuff every day so yeah what's going on guys um you know i tried doing a vlog kind of style you know it's my first time um it's pretty hard because considering like i try thrifting or try purchasing stuff in Chicago, but I can't really find much for it being expensive. It won't be the last time me vlogging. If you guys like this type of content, I will definitely try going to other areas in Chicago. This time I was just staying around my area just because it's Sunday and not a lot of um, transportation is there. I don't have a car. Just want to show you guys uh, what I got from the thrift today. Got this cup, just a dollar. Um, nothing too special. I just like the cork bottom. I think it's really nice because my coffee table is glass. So having this, I won't be able, I won't be needing like a coaster, which is pretty nice. It's a bit dirty, but it's totally fine. I could clean it. I know, um, it's Ralph Lauren, which is pretty nice. Only 10 bucks. Um, uh, it's olive color. I think it would have been nice for like those party settings, like like kind of dress casual i think this would be a great piece and it's 10 bucks so you can't go wrong with it so this olive color Let's see in the large i've only shown you guys a glimpse of it so eh, might as well show you like the box and shit comes in this off-white box nice it's in this it comes with like tags. Um, I think something funny that he did was the whole like Swiss cheese stuff. He actually did it with like the the cleaner, I guess, the cloth, which is pretty cool. Oh, upside down. Uh, it comes in this other paper, off-white. For authentication, saying it's real and stuff. I got this from Saks Fifth. It's like around 300. It originally was 350, but they had like a sale going on and took advantage of it. And yeah, pouch. Not your typical sunglasses like case and stuff, which is pretty nice. It's soft, and I think it will protect the sunglasses. And here they are. Kind of like a square type. Um, like I said, it's my first time having sunglasses. I, say, I would say these are pretty nice. Um, they're plastic, but they do feel heavy. Um, you do have some off-white branding on the lens. Right there, off-white, right here, off-white branding. That's pretty much it, put these on. I don't know how I feel about them. Um, I do just want to keep it just so I can have it there. And I don't know, maybe for like a trip. I'm on the edge of just keeping them. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Should I keep? Do you guys rock with these? Another thing I did up receiving. Um, I didn't show you guys in the previous videos. But I did manage to cop the foam runners and this. Uh, mixed color 
pretty nice. Um, I wouldn't keep it just because I already have the sand bear. My preference is having like the neutral colors. I think these are a bit too loud. But I have seen people wear these on foot and they look nice. Um, just not for me personally. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys rock with these or not? Um, and I like how Yeezy or Ye is releasing more colorways because I know when he first started releasing them, they were a bit limited and hard to cop. And now that he's been releasing more, I think the resale on them have been going down, which is good if you want to cop yourself a pair. I know the old gray color, like the brown one, is going for like about 170, which is good because previous, I know the sand one, we're going for like $300, which is ridiculous. Uh, right now I'm actually wearing the sand one. Very comfortable. I've been using these almost every day. And yeah, if you want to cop yourself, I do recommend. So another piece I comped over the few weeks. See, from North Face. Um, has puff jacket. I've been using it every day so far. I think it's pretty comfortable. I know I usually wear it with a sweater under and it fits great to me, warm. This is like the retro 1996. And they, these released last year, but every day selling out. This year they dropped new colors. And I'm not too picky on the colors and just went with black just because it goes with everything. I do recommend picking this up. I know it's a bit expensive, but I would say it's worth the money. And the style is really nice. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy this. I know this was a bit last minute and kind of like scrambling things in. But let me know if you guys rocked with like the mini vlog. I kind of want to like test that out a little more and give you guys more insight into like my daily life. Or just like if you guys want to know more about Chicago. I would love for you to give more insight and more lies on like things that you don't really see. Like through Google or Instagram. But and let me know down in the comments um, what kind of video you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see more product reviews? pickups videos or just like the mini vlogs if you're not subscribed yet please consider subscribing it's free like the video comment down below some suggestions and don't forget to hit notification bell for the next time i drop a video i'm trying my best to drop videos every week but follow me on instagram if you haven't my username at seesaw underscore i post fits i would like to connect with you guys message me if you have any suggestions I want to grow this channel organically and you know we're at 80 subscribers I'm filming this video and I appreciate every one of you subscribing to my channel. It motivates me along the way. I'm very committed to growing this channel even bigger and I appreciate every one of you guys. I know I say that a lot but it really means a lot to me like knowing you guys support me. And enjoy my videos if you're hitting that like button. It's fun doing these videos and I do want to continue to bring more content to you guys. So. Appreciate y'all. Have a good one. Peace and love.